okay today we are going to install uh, mac os high zero on uh, on a pc which has the cpu core i7 so i have downloaded uh, the high sierra version from hackintosh zone so this is the dmg so we are, we are going to restore this and make a bootable usb so we have to use um, the software called transmac so i want to install this on my uh, 750 uh, 120 gb ssd so here's our how uh, it has to be done first right click format disk for mac and make sure that it is your pen drive not the other disks and uh, okay sorry you'll have to restart the transmac with the admin privileges so this is my pen drive um it has 32 gigs for my disk for mac and yes i'll just say hs for high sierra and say okay so it's gonna take a while to format it so format is completed just say okay and uh, right click on the pen drive and um, restore with disk image this okay say okay and select the file hackintosh share high CR installer tmg and say open and by the way you'll have to download this from the hackintosh zone website and uh, yeah you have the um uh, you know step by step installation guide there and say okay okay this thing will take a while so uh, i'm gonna pause this and uh, come back to you when it's done okay let us uh, have a look at the bios settings i have a uh, gigabyte z170 motherboard and uh, first of all what you have to do is load optimize default and say s for that And there are specific things that you will have to uh, make sure that you do on your uh, BIOS settings. And uh, first and foremost is uh, uh, I'm just gonna take a while here and check if all the settings are um, optimized to default settings. And it seems to be. And one of the important steps is uh, the Windows 10 OS feature should be made to other OS and um, that is pretty much here and uh, make sure the secure boot is disabled it is very important and yeah uh, and that's it here And in super IO configuration make sure the serial port is disabled uh, this is important too you can find all this information in the Akintosh zone website um, Niresh has clearly uh, narrated and uh, no noted on all the points very important points that have to be configured in the bias settings and uh, and uh, legacy, legacy USB support let it be enabled and this is important AHCI handoff this should be enabled and uh, let us let us disable the virtualization settings this is important too um, so once it is disabled we can just uh, save the settings and uh, boot from the pen drive So here we will select uh, the USB drive um, and boot from it. Since I am running uh, Intel Core i7 uh, 6700 Skylight processor and 
my uh, motherboard is compatible and uh, so that I don't have to input any boot flags it just takes me to the installation screen okay uh, I just restarted it again and um, this is the screen I got and I've selected the HP pen drive as a bootable so here we are in the installation screen I select the language and rest are um, self-explanatory I wanted to make this tutorial uh, besides knowing there are plenty of tutorials showing how to install this um, I wanted to make this particular one because of a particular issue that I faced while erasing the drive so I had uh, initially Windows installed on this uh, 750 uh, Evo which is 128 uh, gigs but while trying to install the Mac OS while trying to erase it I was getting this particular error so this is it so in order to fix that I booted back to Windows and uh, I used uh, mini partition tool and I select I completely deleted all the partitions um, in the SSD and uh, I formatted this using the ext4 partition so I um, I just rebooted into um, Mac Macintosh installation disk and this actually solved my issue so if you see here now I'm able to uh, get into the partition and erase it using the mac os extended journalized format journal format sorry so it's done so let's go back to the installer and uh, see what customization options that we have to select in order to get the operating system up and running uh, we agree select the mac os disk this is the ssd that i have yes very important you'll have to click the customize button so we are going to leave everything default and we will have we will select the Wi-Fi and Ethernet and audio we will select the Udo HDA this actually worked for me and I suppose this works for most of the motherboards or most most of the audio chips I am going to deselect uh, de backup graphic tag X because I have the Nvidia card so um, I'll have to um, install the NVIDIA web driver uh, manually post installation but for now I'm going to enable the default uh, NVIDIA drivers and I'm going to select the uh, boot flag graphics enabler is equal to S so that it boots using my uh, using the default graphic card so I'm going to uh, leave the rest of the options as it is um, without making any changes to it Uh, sorry, I think I forgot to select the view to HDA. So let us start uh, installing this. Okay, installation is done and uh, let us see if we get the um, post installation screen. No, sorry, startup screen. Yes, and we did. Sorry for the wobbly video. Um, I'm just shooting this using my phone handheld. So I'm pretty sure that it's a very pretty pretty bad it's gonna be a pretty bad video. But yeah, the purpose of making this video was to show that particular error and how to solve while erasing the uh, partition if you're getting an error. And these are self-explanatory uh, going forward, so I think anyone can do this. So let me just skip ahead.
ನಾವು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಕಲ್ತಿದೆ ಕಣೋ ನೀನು ಗಿಟಾರ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲ್ತಿಯಾ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ತಾನೇ ಅಲ್ಲ So post installation, um, you should leave the computer because um, the OS X installer will be updating a few of the files and uh, even though it says um, it's identifying the keyboard, it is pretty much done. Uh, the keyboard is identified so I just open the note to test it so it works perfectly. And um, I was unable to get the NVIDIA web driver installed and configured so I'm figuring out a way to uh sorry doubt i'll come back with another uh, an uh, update to uh, uh, show you how to restore the web driver thanks